It's now almost a year since Harry Dunn died, but for his mother Charlotte, the pain is still raw. I can still remember how soft his skin was. Um, even though he was 19, um, his skin was so soft. And he used to give you a hug every day without fail. Um, still very much remember his laugh, his vibrancy. Our family's never going to be as it was, ever. You know, you, our lives have been turned upside down, inside out. Your heart's forever broken. It, it can't be stitched back together. It can't be patched back up. Harry was killed when his motorbike was hit by a car outside a military base in Northamptonshire. The driver, Anne Sekoulis, was granted diplomatic immunity, which meant she was protected from prosecution and returned to the US, with her lawyer saying she had cooperated fully with the investigation. But despite travelling to America and meeting President Trump, the family were told an extradition request was refused. When people get to a year, they seem to be able to think, right, OK, you know, that's, that's the first year done, the first year anniversary over with, let's move on now. We've not been afforded that luxury. We're, we're stuck. We don't have justice. I've got to fulfil my promise to Harry before I can move on. The government says it's doing everything it can to get justice for Harry, and a loophole that allowed Anne Sekoulis to claim diplomatic immunity has now been closed. But for his mother, the fight goes on. Harry was really important. Every human is important. Every UK citizen is important. They cannot be allowed to be just swept under the carpet like they were expecting us to do so. It's been a long and difficult year, but Harry's family say they won't give up. They owe it to their son. Leila Hayes, 5 News.